there be OBT 50, I get it over pushed him again. I'm sure glad that I thought of turning on my cable TV news this morning. Because if I wouldn't have, then I never would have heard the news about the racial injustice done to a black man named George Floyd by the Minneapolis, Minnesota police. And see, that's also one of the things that I stand up against as the kind of music artist that I am. Is, um, you know, of all the things of the, you know, of people in the system and society, they, not only do I stand up against people being mean and rude for no good reason, and not only do I stand up against the way the society seems to just like to kick the poor and homeless to the curb by by not giving them the chance at, at a job that they really need, but also against stuff like that, like like the racial injustice that was done to that black man named, named George Floyd by those Minneapolis, Minnesota police. The thing I want to say to those protesters out there engaging in violence in their protests is that you're making all the other protesters who want to use more peaceful means of protesting, you're making them also look bad, besides yourselves, to the police in riot gear. And that's something I'm also against. You know, to those who are engaging in violence in their protests, I'm standing against the, thing, the same thing that you're still standing against, which is the injustice that was done against George Floyd by the Minneapolis, Minnesota police. But, but I'm against your, your using violent means of protesting because of that, because of how it's making those, all the others who want to use more peaceful means of protesting also look bad. Not only will I stand up against racial injustice like that, you know, done to people of another race like like George Floyd, but I'll also uh, stand up against um, you know economic or or class injustice that any police do to um, you know the poor and homeless. I'll stand up against that too. When it comes to me talking about my music artist thing is Orpheus Tim being an activist movement kind of thing. I thought I'd better make it clear that that's an activist movement kind of thing through, you know, music, you know, writing songs and, and putting out songs and performing songs, you know, that are, you know, that are addressing the things of, of people in the system and society that, that that's not right and, you know, you know, standing up against the thing that's not right about, about those things these days and and then also, uh, you know, uh, through printed material, you know, like uh, zines and pamphlets and all that kind of stuff. And then also standing on street corners with signs and raising our voices. Just all that kind of stuff. And also, I should probably also say voting. Also, the time that that nice grocery store coffee shop employee was going to be paying for my internet for two months. That time now has come and gone. And so I'm back to no internet at home again. And I'm having to go back to uploading my YouTube videos like this over either grocery store Wi-Fi or, or other public Wi-Fi if I'm able to find any other place to go to where there's Wi-Fi. Then what can also help me afford internet back home here again is getting enough OPT 50 t-shirts sold. And yesterday I did two more vocal takes on my coming to be at the scourge on the town song. And for sure with them two vocal takes, I for sure got it on all the verses. When I play it back and listen to, you know, not only how good I got all my lyrics down, but also, how good I did on the flow between the two t the two takes I did yesterday. Um, it really sounded like I pretty much got it good on you know getting all the lyrics down and and doing good on the flow. You know, keeping good time and and also uh, you know staying on key good and stuff like that. Um, I think there might just be a chorus part or two that might be just a little less than perfect or a little less than the way I like. But I'm sure I probably have that good in one of the other takes, in, in one of the other good few takes that I did the other few days. 
they can, you know, slice out and splice in. Yeah, then I can get them vocals mixed in, you know, it, yeah, sound process in FL Studio and, you know, mixed in with the song and, and then finally have that song ready to, you know, get on Spotify and wherever else to get that song start making money besides the OBT50 t-shirts. So that too, um, you know, getting this song, you know, done soon with, also with all my vocals on like that will also help me uh, be able to afford hearing that back at home again. All subscribers of mine who like this video and haven't clicked the like button yet, I'll appreciate it if you will. And, and all new viewers who like this video and haven't liked and subscribed yet, I'll appreciate it if you want to. And I really will. The thing I hope doesn't make it look like I really don't is now that I'm, you know, back to having no internet back at home now. Um, that's, and, and also with the coronavirus situation going on still, where every needs to stay home as much as possible. So I'm, you know, only getting out when I have to go grocery shopping and when I have to do any other shopping where there's Wi-Fi. That's gonna make it harder to, you know, check my YouTube as well as Facebook and email. It's gonna make it harder to, to check those things, you know, read that often. So I hope everyone, you know, who, uh, you know, like, leaves any comment or anything, you know, I, I hope that you can be patient enough at me getting back to you until I'm able to, um, you know, get anything happening money-wise, enough money-wise to afford your internet back at home again, the, even like selling enough uh, OPT50 t-shirts and then also getting my Come to Be a Scourge on the Town song all done also with all the vocals mixed and, and, and then uploaded to, you know, uh, music distribution site or so to, to start getting it, making money. And so with that, I'll say goodbye everybody.